Right, here we go guys. This is my first time doing an unboxing, so please bear with me. This is the Asset Drop Loot Box, the Villains, for September 2020. So let's have a quick look. Full disclosure, I did open this up a little bit earlier, and it was packed a little bit neater than I repacked it. So, here we go. It's all very nice, thank you. Thank you too. So on top we've got the booklet. Very nice. We'll come back to that at the end. We've got some basin material. Fine husk peat from Rival Crafts. We've got an MDF base, which looks like a coaster. For building a diorama, I assume. We've got Instar paints this time. I know there's several brands Asset Drop can include. This time we've got Instar Alpha. Pure blue, pure oxide red, and pure purple. And I have to say, these are some gorgeous colours. Very vibrant. I have nothing like this purple in my collection. It's quite gorgeous, actually. I have very little... Um, Experience of Instar paints though. I've used a couple of the metallics which are okay. Apart from that, couldn't tell you much about them. But they are very vibrant colours. What do we have here? Okay, we have some more basin bits. This is tombstones, gravestones, and some skeletons. We have some tufts from Sirius. Serious play, never heard of these people. Never heard of them, but just get up if I can get them open without destroying them. Oop, there we go. So we've got some purple, some dead grass, it looks like. Some flowers for the graves, most likely. I'm sure they'll come in handy. And then, as I said, I did open this earlier. It didn't come like that. So let's open him up. Well, first of all, let's have a look at him. It's Morin the Grave. He's a necromancer. And this was Legends of Signum. So let's have a quick look at him. Okay, so he's a multi-resin part kit. Lots of parts. I'm not going to take him out right now because he is in considerable amounts of bits. Also got the base, 32mm. Standard. Let's have a quick look at him there. Oh, you can see it. So a quick look at the, the guide as well. It's a very nice guide. This was one of the things that actually drew me to Asset Drop over other companies. It's just the care they put into their tutorials and uh, their guides. Here you can see the box contents. I'll read it out in case you can't see it. Morin de Grave, the Necromancer, from Cadwallon Miniatures, £15. Wooden Diorama Base, from War Bases, 60 pence. Gravestones from TT Combat, £1.40. Exclusive Graveyard Tufts from Serious Play Scenix, £2.85. Pile of Skulls by Alien Lab Miniatures, 60 pence. Fine Peat Husk Basin Material by Rival Crafts, £1.25. Instar Alpha Pure Blue, £1.80. Instar Alpha Pure Purple, £1.80. And Instar Alpha Pure Oxide Red, £1.80. Those were the paints, of course. So here we have the guide. Tells you about the miniature, the paints, the techniques. I won't go through it all here, but just to give you an idea of the quality. Tells you how to do the light purple, the deep teal, the electric blue, the rust. Step-by-step -step guide if you want to follow their paint scheme. It's very nice. Oh, that is the end of it, is it? Oh, no. It's just stuck. There we go. And you can see the final product. So, yeah. This is my first asset drop, my first unboxing as well, so sorry if it was a bit rubbish. But hopefully you can see if you are interested in asset drop now. As far as I know, you can buy previous months. So if there's a month you really wanted and missed, you can pick it up. Otherwise, you can sub for villains, uh, monsters or heroines, as far as I know. Oh, this one was £25. I think the heroines is the same, but the monsters is a little bit more. Uh, I've seen a couple of unboxings of monsters and 
they're pretty impressive. Some of them are absolutely massive. So I think I might go for one of those next. But yeah, there he is. That's the guy. You get all the bits to make him and make a diorama with him, which I will do at some point. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you on the next one, I guess.